Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. I wanted to talk a little bit about the power of VCL files. If you're not receiving VCL files or your company's not aware of the VCL files for Earthworks or Siteworks, uh, just know that it's a pretty powerful tool. So this is a job site that I just loaded that we're working on. And uh, you can tell if I zoom in, there's a lot going on. I've got a lot of design. I got a lot of utilities, but everything is pancaked and laid on it on top of each other, which is fine because it's all in one design. And here's the beauty of a VCL file is you can clean it up by actually turning on and off what you do and don't want to see. So right where my excavator is right now in this north corner, you can see I've got design curb, striping. I've got a waterway out in front of me and I've got a storm drain. Let's say I need to actually isolate the storm drain or I'm going to start digging on that, but I don't want all the other clutter that's in front of me here on the screen. If it's a VCL file, hit your shovel with the gear on the bottom right and go down to Layer Manager. In Layer Manager right here, it shows you all the different layers that have been sent to you from the office. And if you zoom out, you can actually see them just like I did on the main screen. And you can either turn them all off right here with that little eye, or you can turn on and off what you do and don't wanna see. So for example, striping right there. I don't wanna see striping. I don't want to see the new main design. I don't want to see existing fence. I don't want to see existing utilities. Whatever you do and don't want to see, go down through this list right here and clean it up to what you need. So on the main screen right now, all you can see that is I have my utilities on. I have gas, sewer, storm, uh, southwest storm drain, water, and my points layer. If I literally want to just turn everything off but only have the um, storm drain on, that's all I need to have. I can hit apply. It's not completely gone. If I zoom all the way out, it just shows all of my storm drain and that's where it's at. So there it goes. It cleans it up. Um, if you need a reference for anything, turn back on design line work. But if not, now I can go ahead and actually square up on the storm drain and start digging and not be cluttered up with everything else. I can line my green crosshairs up. If I put mine in the middle of the, the bucket there, I can center the machine right on top of it, and I can zoom out and actually line up with those green crosshairs on the actual line to start digging. If you actually want to, if that was a 3D line work sent out to you also, you can go ahead and back up, and on the main screen right here, you can see on the bottom right, there's a little 3D with a line on it. If you touch that, I can then pick the 3D line work that I want, which is my, if I select on there, it's going to show me, do I want edge of pavement, SD, which is storm drain, or line three. I want storm drain, and I can use that line for multiple different things. Horizontal offset, I can do it for slope, dual slope, whatever it is. I'm going to just use it for a level, and there I'm going to go ahead and switch out and make it about a 10-foot wide surface at the bottom, and I can also extend each end just a little bit. So I'm going to extend that one five feet, and I'm going to extend that one five feet. So now on my main screen, if I go back, I only still have just storm drain. And I have my horizontal light bar at the top right there. I'm good to go. I can switch to a split screen view like this one and actually start digging if I needed to put in a vertical offset of maybe one foot below it. This is how pipe guys can be really, really good at what they have to start digging. He has a line all the way behind him. He doesn't have to have any paint marks out here to follow. He can simply just reach out behind him and see exactly where he needs to start digging right there. You can use it as a reference to track, whatever you need. It's uh, that thinking inside the box of what you've got and then also thinking outside the box at the same time. See how as I dig, I can just kind of watch that top light bar? Because as you dig, you do kind of go a little squirrely here and there. But as I'm making my main cuts, I've got an actual elevation to go to. But watch that top light bar when I go slow. See how it's kind of drifting a little bit? I can kind of watch it move to the right a little bit, move to the left a little bit. And those first couple cuts as you're doing your trench are the ones that are going to give you the most alignment as you're continuing to go through. So once you've established the alignment, you don't need to worry about that much anymore.
So once I've got it established, I can sit down in there and you can see based on different things on the screen right here. I've got my top light bar that tells me that I'm right on. If I move just a little bit, you can see it's really touchy. I mean, I don't have to move much, but my top light bar is on. Since my focus point's in the middle, there's my, my offline and there's my grade. So thank you for watching this video from SideTech Intermountain on VCL files and cleaning up your screen and knowing how to use 3D line work along with that VCL file. Thank you.